Hi guys and welcome back to another amazing video. Today we'll be travelling an East Lanx Railway branch. This is a local trip that connected Stubbins and Accrington. Although this was a short branch, it was an important branch as it connected the mills of Lancashire with the mills of Manchester, providing both coal and cotton alike. So this line opened in 1848 by the East Lanx, took over by 1859 with the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. We did make a few alterations, but it all closed in 1966. But I believe there are a lot of clues coming up. Enjoy. Hi guys, here we are, another day, another trip. Today, we'll be walking the East Lanx route the one that went from Stubbins all the way up to Accrington. So here you can see the East Lanx Railway as it currently stands. Well, this is where it junctioned off to do what we call the spur that led up to the Bury section in the Blackburn area. So hopefully you can see a station ahead. Let's check it out. This is a disused station at Stubbins. Although this is a disused station, it's not really on our route. This was on the route, the current route, that went up to Bake Up. But it's right next to it. This is like you say, just behind it is where the spur went. But it's a shame to be so near and yet so far not to film it. So, here we go. And it's still got the uh, concrete post there for the original station signs. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, and that's where the station signs were kept on this side. That's looking back towards Bury. So this is how you get on that station. If you're going to Bury that is. And this is where you get on the station if you're going to Bake Up. And that's the subway you'd take if you were walking in between the two. We're on the branch line itself. There's these lanks over there. This is our line. Making our way slowly to Accrington. Well, here's where we just walked, and this is where it's leading on to. As you can see, it's very traceable. Nice. So we've been running parallel with East Lanks line to Bake Up for quite a while now. Now it looks like we're finally going to be making our own route where we'll be veering off to the left just past these trees. So just past the site of this looks like a massive mill of old. And still these stubbins. But wow this place has been left as it is and just adapted to the 21st century. Nice. Wow look at that beauty eh? Original cast iron the lot. Absolutely amazing. So that's looking back on the route we just walked and here it is looking straight ahead it's a bit of a cycle lane let's hope there's still plenty of clues to find yep still plenty of railway infrastructure to be seen Look at this lovely wall very nice that 1893 
And so we come to the first of the many viaducts we'll be hopefully crossing over whilst taking this route. It's only small viaducts but as you can see it's a deep drop. And as you can see it's open to the public. Sorry about that Nick, you I won't be going round. Straight through. Wow, look at this Nick. Perfectly restored. Excellent. Just as good as the railway days, eh? And look at the wonderful view that the Lancashire Yorkshire railway mob would have got from here, eh? Very nice. So we've come through the dirty town of Radcliffe into this beautiful part of Rosendale. Absolutely fantastic it is. A quick update, that's what we just walked all the way since that viaduct, a nice route. Now I've come to this pathway here. The route to the railway is straight, but we're being sent up a pathway, so I suspect the next bridge is out. We'll have a look. Yeah, this was the route of the real railway line. And as you can see, we come to a the bridge that's been taken out. That's why the pathway's gone to the top. Let's see if we can find it on the other side. So that's that bridge that was out. And this is the route ahead. It does look very clear at the moment. I'll go and experiment. On a pretty damp moss base at the moment. This is the route of the railway. Uh, as you say, it looks like one or two people have been down here, but uh, it's a bit scary at the moment. That's what I've just walked through, and it is hell. And this is what lies ahead. I thought it was heading for nowhere, but look at this little gem. This bridge is out, and I think we've got a viaduct straight ahead. Yep, here she is. Even got a nice doorway for us. As you can see, we're on the viaduct. Very heavily overgrown, but still passable, just. Let's keep going. And this is the view. Really deep down there. I'm glad there was a way through. Right, let's keep going. As if by magic, we're on the other side. Let's keep up the trail. Hopefully we'll be near our first station. That's what I like about these hidden routes. They've got all these little gems to show you. A few clues from the history have gone by. As you can see, it is like walking through a jungle at the moment. And I've had one or two rogue nettles sting me, so I'm in pain. But I've got a lovely smile on my face. It's nice to walk these old lines again. A lot of country around. Also plenty of signs of industry. Look at this old bridge that's out. Nice. Very lanky yorky. Wow, just made it through the jungle. Look at what lies ahead, eh? A lovely avenue of trees. Spot where the railway went. Yeah, I've come across a load of wooden bits and bobs here. Are these signs of some old sleepers from the uh, 60s? Keep on looking. And I can see something sturdy right up ahead. Looks like that's where the uh, housing estate starts. Check it out. Yeah, it's got a nice bridge here. But then it looks like we're hitting private land. Looks like people have bought out the land it was originally in the valley that led up to the station. Yeah, just a little further on, you'd find the station. It's not near yet so far. Let's see if we can go around the side and get it from another angle. So that's looking back. I've come all the way round now, so that's looking back on that private land where that guy's built his property. This is the, 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 the railway line itself. Went straight through here. Lovely building on the side. I don't know whether that's genuine or whatever, but it certainly looks the part. But that's exactly where the railway went. Here we are at Helmshaw Station, or very close to it anyway. So this is where it uh, crossed the road. Looks like this guy has built a shed and made it into a signal box. It looks amazing. That speaks for itself. Rebuilt 1990. Well done, Alan. Nice spelling as well. where the line came through and this is the site of Helmshaw Station. Fortunately it's a housing estate now, no signs of any station building, sidings or anything. 
That's exactly where the line went. Even name the house to call the sidings, keep it in the railway theme, very nice. Oh, I'm knackered. I just took a very long diversion around this new housing estate. Luckily there's a path dedicated now to the railway. So here we go. Let's continue walking this track. Right, so this is a bit deceptive because this looks like there's some steps coming down that uh, look like they were from Victorian days, but that wasn't the case. If you look over there, you can see where there was a, a very high embankment, built up embankment that is, and that went right across to rejoin our roadway, which then goes onto that uh, station. There you go, that's better. Here we are, back online again. Let's keep following, let's see where we give them up to. Whoa, there's a lovely shot. I think this is a textile mill, you know, and if I remember rightly, this has been made into a museum. It's nice to see the keep a bit of history, rather than making it into a stupid housing estate. Let's snip down there, let's get a quick shot from the other angle. So we're skimming the side of a museum here. This is where the railway line went. Uh, along the back of these mills here. These are some textile mills. It's now been made into a museum. I expect these were served by the railways in the time. But our railway line went through there. Here we are, back on track again. Lovely. Right over the tops, nice and clear. And so we move on to a lovely country valley. Bring it on. So we've had to come down the valley way from the main railway line. Uh, it looks like there used to be a viaduct here that went over this, but it's long since gone. So we've had to take the uh, old route, go down and go up again. Let's see if we can trace on the other side. Ooh, here we are, we've climbed up the other side of where that viaduct was. And we're back on track again. Let's keep going. Yeah, I do like the sign of these posts here. In fact, there used to be some sidings here that uh, fed industry. It was a gas works. So this was the location of Grain Road Sidings. Uh, apparently where this road is was the actual railway itself. But on the left hand side there was a good shed. And beyond the good shed there was a tramway that went up in the hills and served a quarry. So here we have the railway crossing this road on that embankment. And at the end of that embankment it then joins the A56, like I say, a bypass which is now taking over the route of the railway. As you can see there are still one or two clues that it was a railway on that embankment. And there she is. So we're currently looking at the location of the railway line and Haslingdon Railway Station. The station was just before that turn off where the car is turning now. It was here and it's gone. Not a sign of it. So this is where this station was. As you say, nothing now but greenery. And like I say, these buildings have been built on the side. If you look behind it, you can see the old wall. There used to be a bit of a goods shed here. So I expect that's where it was all located. But there's only, that's the only real clue I can find at the moment. I suppose the name speaks for itself. Like I say, the station was behind me, but this still looks very railway-fied, might have been an old textile mill serving the railways as such. And uh, it looks like there's a goods yard over here. So this is a yard that's pretty nearby. Look at the cobbles on the floor, it gives it away. This is one of the old goods yards. It certainly looks like it was from that era. So there's our station again. Might have a slight reprieve here. We're now going to be going on the East Lancashire Greenway, which was the original route of the railway. So let's uh, follow this up and look for the next station at Baxendale. So this is looking back at Hartlington Station. See the valley here? This is the railway line. See the skimmings of the uh, factory at the side? That's the direction of the railway. Literally, like you say, still following the route of the bypass. So here we are looking at the track again. Notice how this road is turning to the right. Well, our railway didn't. Our railway veered off to the left. So as that turns to the right, hopefully we'll be able to trace the track again. Let's go and find out. Painful as it may seem, this is the railway. 
as you can see it's been heavily filled in there should be a bridge there with a railway running underneath it all we can see is flat land I'm afraid and that's the same story that goes all the way back to that junction with the bypass and it's the same story on the other side as you say that should be a lovely valley going right down to the railway shame really so the railway came through there from that bridge along this pathway straight up to a well-known pie factory called Holland's Pie and that's where hopefully we'll find some traces of the old station so here we are at Holland's on the other side very close to where the station is so where you can see these crates is where the track was now this was a very big yard for the station and look at this building in the background that looks very Lancashire and Yorkshire doesn't it I bet that was one of the originals you know and if you look at the side here yes I'm sure I can see some uh, markings for the station yes at last the next station on the line has been found Baxenden, Baxenden. yeah oh yes wow it's still here so we've lost all that in all the rubble but no she's still standing oh I can smell the meat pies from here oh it's making me belly rumble oh yes and here's the uh, platform on the other side so like I say I can't get access to that other platform because it's in the complex it's behind this stuff but this one I can touch it so here we are on the other side of that fence just looking for any bits and bobs like you say there's moss here there and everywhere that's the platform edgings on the other side of the fence but no real signs of any railway structures sorry about that there you go that's where we just walked coming along a lovely pond now you can even have a nice sit down if you want we're going straight on heading towards them gates wow look at this bridge I love that right just beyond this bridge on the left hand side was the location of Baxenden Colliery let's see what we can find mate very nice looks like we've got a bod box this route we're walking on at the moment has been renamed the Greenway and it really makes sense look at it lovely and green lovely and clear right about a mile to go to Accrington there's another roll call a bit further down as you see we are coming down gradient wise but look at this gradient here I think we're a viaduct out you know there's no way a train would have gone up and down that even the Werner's incline wasn't that steep yeah looking back on that dip apparently there used to be five arch bridge there that was dismantled in 1981 that's why we got this make do one that's a bit lower wow here's a mystery look at these pillars what's this all about eh apparently there used to be a mill here and I'm not sure whether it had railway entry or not I know it did have a signal box and it was called shoe mill but I can't find it on the map but all the clues are here come on look check it out nice Langston Yorkshire bridge is that the last one we're gonna see I, I wonder so we reached the end of the wooded area so at this stage here there used to be a bridge that went took the railways over this road along this little avenue here right to the centre of Accrington where it then becomes a triangle so as I say the railways came through that little corridor but they've still got the original pillars where the railways went over that gives you an idea on how high the railway was when it came over here so it went to like say a big hive it became a massive massive triangle so where you can see them flats ahead is where the railway line used to go there we go um, looks like they've um, reclaimed the land and made this fantastic pond for all these ducks yeah, I think they look a bit peed off but you know as we always come on these trips and find the little objects in the uh, tunnels hopefully you can see one of them that's already in this lake that's where them pillars were and I suspect this is now the grounds for where the station and the goods yard and sorting sidings were it was a very big area I should say main hub serving all the stock come up from Manchester 
And so we hit the painful reality of what happened to Accrington sorting sidings. Yes, you guessed it, it became a supermarket. Tesco bought it out. Shame really. And so at the bottom of the yard, this is where we rejoin the main line. The line that's still alive. You look over there, hopefully you'll still see a blue marker which is the uh, northern things to show off where Accrington station is. You can say that was our marshalling yard. Shame really. Looking westward now, heading towards Blackburn, the engine shed was on this route, on the uh, left hand side, just a bit further down. And this is the bit of Accrington that still survives. So if I'm right, the original station used to be uh, four platforms. So there's two platforms on that side, an island platform, and then there were two platforms that veered off going towards the Bury section. This is where it was, I'm sure. So here we have the outside of the current Accrington station. As you say, it used to be a triangle. At the start of the triangle, it had two, two, two sets of platforms and the platforms went over there, literally where Tesco was to feed the other lines. All gone. See you next time.